Josh Smith here, live at Flat 5 Studios. Today's top five list is my top five favorite Cascade open string licks. Uh, I love these licks and these techniques are so fun. They have a lot of impact when you pull them out. They're just fun to play and I'm gonna go through my five favorite ones, maybe throw in a bonus one here or there. So anyways, my top one, number one, is in the key of D and it goes like this. So that is such a killer lick. What's going on? Well, we're highlighting the D major scale and we're playing an A on the B string, a G flat on the G string and an open E. So you'll hear you're playing descending licks and then going back up for the open string. Okay, the next set of three notes is a D on the G string, a C on the D string and an open B. And then the next is just two notes. We've got an A on the D string and that same open B. So you've got. That's the first set. And then this, these two little pull offs slides. That's such a killer lick, so useful. Just love it. Um, I love too this lick in the key of D because, you know, in key of G, if we're playing a blues like Pusher, when we go to the five, I can use this lick to highlight the change of that five chord. And again, a lot of impact when you do something like that. So D ends up in a lot, you know, in a lot of different keys. You can use it in, in uh, non root note positions. So it's a cool, cool lick to pull out. All right. Number two is in the key of E, and it goes a little something like this. You've probably heard me play that at the end of Brown Gatton or something like that. I love this lick because of the dissonance in it. It's just so cool. So what's going on here? We've got A on the E string, B on the uh, A string, and an open D. Then we've got D flat, on the A string, E on the D string, and an open G. Then we move up a half step, and we've got G and B flat with an open. So you've got that minor major seven sound. Then we move up another half step, and we got really cool D flat and E flat with E. Same thing. Such a great lick. And again, you can bust out of this. I really love, like I can play. Licks like that. Such a cool lick. And here's a little bonus one to play over an E7 sharp nine Hendrix chord. Kind of a tritone thing starting on B flat. Again, you could bust out. Just moves up in half steps and sets of strings. Super cool. All right. Cascade number three is in the key of G and sounds like this. Now that's a super cool lick. What's going on? Well, it's got a little bit of a chromatic thing walking down from one to flat seven to six. So we go like G, F, E. But instead of that fretted E, we play in the open E. And the same thing starting from D. And like one of the earlier licks, then there's a little group of just two notes. So there we play A on the D string with an open B. So that's the beginning. And then we've got 
uh, kind of a repeating motif that goes from F to E with an open G and then C to B with an open G and then slide down to the G. Such a cool lick and again you can bust out. Love that lick in the key of G. All right, number four is in the key of A. Actually, the next two are in the key of A. And it's one of my favorites. It sounds like this. Oh, so fun. So fun. So what's going on there? Well, we're basically running up that A scale, but... So we've got A, D flat, D. That's E, G, G. And then that's A, D flat, B. Then we've got D, E, E. Such a great lick. Slide up that major triad at the end. That's one of the main reasons I love this one, is because it's so easy to bust out of. Another way to play it is to kind of bounce with open strings to give it that banjo feel. So, such a cool lick. I love it, man. Oh. And number five, also in the key of A, super cool lick with a little bounce to it, some open string hammer-ons, sounds like this. Oh, such a cool lick. So I'm hammering on open A to D flat. So we've got A, D flat, E, open G. Then same thing on the next set of strings up. So that's D to F sharp, A, open B. Same thing on the next set of strings. So that's G to B to D flat to open E. And then end it on an A. This is a cool lick. And I love like in a shuffle like that. a really easy one to break out of, even with licks like this. Again, you don't have to play these all the way through. You can, you know, just play a little bit and then connect them to another lick of yours. Start using them as little bridges and ways to connect the dots. Mess around with this stuff. And more, more importantly, think about where you can substitute open strings instead of a chromatic riff or something like that. Make one of the notes uh, an open string. Um, yeah. That's great. Here's two little bonus ones. Red Volkart's A major scale. Here's Mike Landau's A minor. Anyways, Cascades rule. You guys rule. If you're not a ruler, you should be one. So please subscribe to the channel or sign up and become a member. Become a ruler. We'd love to have you. And for the rulers, I'm going to do a little video about this. But All right. Thanks, everybody.